Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Amy at Crafty Cat. So today we're going to um, continue on in the Entirely Bonkers journal. If you do want to um, join in and show anything you are making with the two digitals. Oh, and I'll show you the second one in just a second. Um, just use the hashtag Entirely Bonkers. So hashtag Entirely Bonkers, all lowercase letters, no capitals. So, um, you know, easy to, easy to do. You don't have to worry about capitalizing anything. Um, and then that way, anybody else who is making things can see what you're making and I can see it and Carol can see it. And we were supposed to do that from the start, but my brain doesn't work. And I keep forgetting to tell you guys that, and I keep forgetting to put it on my videos. So I apologize. Um, I don't know how Carol does, deals with me, honestly, <laughs> such a ditz. Uh, so anyways, I think I just just too many things to think about all the time. This is the Entirely Bonkers add-on. Um, I showed you on the iPad, but obviously it's a lot easier to see this way. <laughs> it's only three pages, but you know, it, all it is is the mushrooms, the flowers, butterflies, and then um, Tweedledee and Dumb and the Dormouse. So that is it. All right, so we're gonna use some of that today along with um, other bits and pieces. So I'm going to bring this down here and this. And where I put my, oh, I put them over here. Okay, so I've got this. <laughs> I cut out all this stuff and so I'm trying to keep track of it here. And I'm missing A mushroom. Okay, so I just have some more bits cut out over here. So I am going to actually set these back up here because what I want is right here. So I just have a um, index card that I sprayed and all that um, the same way I did the scraps at the beginning of this journal. So I just need to find out what page I want to put it on. And I also have the top of this. Let's do this top part first, just because all these little bits are in the, just stuck in the book here. So how y'all doing? I hope you're fantastic. I'm doing pretty good today. Just finishing this one up. I may do another one. I haven't decided. I may do the long version next, or I may take a break from from journals. I'll, I'll do, I'll still do videos and make ephemera and all that kind of stuff. Just take a little break from, sometimes when I do journal after journal after journal, it gets kind of, um, I don't know, I just get done. <laughs> so we'll see what I feel like doing, but I may do another one just because they're, they are a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying doing this with Carol. <laughs> Other than, poor thing. <laughs> she, she has to put up with my zaniness and my inability to organize. <laughs> I am not a good communicator as far as telling her, you know, stuff. And uh, yeah, that is one of my big flaws. I'm not the best at that in the world. And then, like I said, we were going to do the entirely bonker hashtag from the beginning, and I just totally spaced it. So, anywho, but if you haven't checked out Carol Laws um, on YouTube, please, please do, because she's also making an entirely bonkers journal. We're not going to trade these ones. This one's already um, spoken for, but... Uh, but it's just fun because we're both working on, um, you know, this, using the same kit. So, and doing them entirely different. We have done so many pockets almost on the same day that are basically essentially the same pocket. <laughs> but because we do them so different, um, it's just really fun to see. <laughs> and we aren't doing it on purpose. It's not an intentional thing. We just keep doing very similar things without even you know, talking to each other about it. I mean, we've talked about a few things, but we mostly are laughing at how um, similar they are. <laughs> 
yet yeah, different. You know, they don't look a lot alike, but it's just funny how we keep choosing very similar items or um, styles of pockets, that kind of thing. So I just want to, I just kind of want to cover up a lot of that. Um, and you saw I didn't stick that down all the way yet, but I want to cover a lot of that uh, envelope flap. That's the CD envelope flap sticking over there because it is kind of upside down and stuff. So I just want to put some flowers and Cheshire up there. It's just a collage. So no like openings or pockets or anything. I think I think I will just put him on top of those so those can get stuck down all the way. It just seemed like a good spot for Cheshire hiding in the flowers. It's always in the flowers of the trees or something, right? I'm going to scoot him a little this way. I think I want to put a butterfly because he looks like he's looking at something. So I think maybe I'll do something like that. Watching the butterflies, that would be Pasha. That's what he would do. So I feel like that's right. Crazy little cats. He was in here just a few minutes ago, crinkling paper. Just, um, I have a sheet of that newsprint paper and um, it was on the floor because he likes to crinkle around on it, lay on it and make it crinkle and play in it and all that. So that's what he was doing a few minutes ago, but he went to see what my husband's up to because he's working from home today <laughs> again. So he's off to see what he's up to because he, he went downstairs. So he's a busy body. He's got to be in the middle of it all the time. If you have a cat or a dog, really, you will understand that because that's what they do. Always busy. Okay, I'm going to put that little mushroom under there. So some of these are from the original kit. Some of them are from the new add-on. But you can make yourself a whole little garden if you want to. Because there's a lot of mushrooms and a lot of flowers. All right. I like that better up there now. And then, oh, I was going to put I'm mad, you're mad. We're all mad here. Because, oh boy, are we. Or, oh boy, am I. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I don't want it. Because I feel like it's just covering everything up. Yeah, I don't think I want it after all. Somebody wants to change that after they can. All right. So we have that one. And I've got to think of where I'm going to put the next pocket. I'm not really sure. This area might be good. Yeah, I think I'll put it on that page. Okay. So I'm just going to set this aside because we don't need the whole, um, that whole thing. Oh, now he's going to stand outside and yell at me. Because I closed my door so my husband doesn't have to listen to me yammer on in here while he's trying to work. Um, he probably wants to go out because it's a little bit warmer. Cooler than yesterday. But that's fine. And, uh, you know, he likes to go out and see what the birds are up to. So yeah, index cards also make great pockets, book page, just these simple kind of pockets. And I'm not folding the sides or anything. It's just going to hold a couple tags. I still need that. It's just in the way and it's bugging me. Okay, so we have our Tweedledee and Dum here. I didn't name them. I love these. They're adorable. Look at their faces. So cute. I found some other ones that were real weird. So I swapped the heads. I cut the heads off of the other ones and put different heads on these and I prefer these heads much more. They're adorable. They're so cute. The little cheeks. Love the cheeks. Just trying to figure out how I want to put everything on here. I 
kind of like, so it looks like they're just in a whole slew of flowers and things. I might just scoot them over a little bit. Because I feel like I'm going to have to cut a foot off or a hat off for the, to have the thumb notch there. Maybe not that far. Some things are going to get chopped, but I'm okay with it because it's just going to be kind of a full, a full garden area look. I want different flowers there. Let me see. one with the different colors in it. Yeah, that would be kind of good, huh? Move that yellow around a bit. I think something like that'll work. And then maybe this little one I'll put like right here. Okay, so we got that part figured out. And now we need to ink, sorry. I could have inked all these, but I was lucky to get them cut out, much less inked. <laughs> uh, I feel like I've been running around like a chicken with my head cut off. I mean, that's pretty normal for me, but it's, it's feeling a little extra for the last couple of weeks. But yeah, it has been super fun to do this with Carol because... <laughs> We do just keep doing very similar projects, even though they turn out looking very, very different. It's just crazy. How do we do that? I don't know, but we do. We decided we were long lost relatives or something. that a lot. Sisters from a different mister, right? Feel free to fast forward on this part. I won't, will not hurt my feelings. get a lot of purple on their faces because that's not what I want. But I loved the pants and everything on this. These. <laughs> Sorry, I had to use these, but I, yeah, I did swap out the heads. These are all, the, I did not draw these. These are all computer generated images. But I can cut them apart and make them different than their original version. Because their faces were, actually originally their faces were tigers. Uh, I definitely didn't want tiger faces. And so I cut those off and I put on some other twin faces. Which you don't really have to have twins, but anyway. Um, but they were blue and they were just weird. <laughs> so I got rid of those. And then I found this adorable face and was like, yep, that's the one. It's too cute. I mean, it's, it's mean what they're named, but I didn't name them, so... <laughs> Maybe they're super geniuses and just nobody knows it. But they're cute, regardless. 
regardless. There were some that were like creepy, scary. Uh, that seems to be where a lot of Alice in Wonderland stuff goes is that creepy, scary thing. And I tried, you know, I don't, I don't like that. So, um, yeah, I didn't want anything like that for sure. Oh, scoot up a little bit. And it looks weird with the mushroom up there, but we're gonna put the flowers. So I just wanted to see as much as the of the mushroom as I could get. I was supposed to put it behind his foot and I didn't. Oops. I don't want, don't want folded stems or whatever they're called. Bases on our, I'm going to scoot them up just a little bit more. Nobody will be the wiser except you guys. Just don't tell anybody. I think we might have to do sort of like a chop off of all these bits that are hanging over. I need another little tiny one right there. I don't know if I have another little tiny one cut out. Do that and just cut it to okay. Yeah, we'll do that. And I'll just trim it. They look like they're in some weird <laughs> celestial. <laughs> Big Dipper or something. Okay, now we gotta trim off all of our hangovers. Oh, these ones didn't get glued yet, huh? That might be good first. Straight, it would be fantastic. And I suppose you could leave some of them hanging off if you wanted to. Um, but I mean, it would be fine. If you had the room, you know, to have that. I don't know if I want these because they're, they're kind of big. Let's see if we can trim them down a little bit. I always thought it was Tweedledee and Tweedledum because that's why we always hear it around here. But I got looking. I did find a book now that I'm basically done with this. Um, it's the Through the Looking Glass one. But it says Dumb and D. So I don't know.
I don't like them just cut straight off, so I like to trim them weird. <laughs> but if you like them cut straight off, do it. Just weird that way. Let's see, like, even that's bugging me. Alrighty, and those are from my porch prints, those words. So there's that one, we just gotta put it in our journal. Oh, I, that's what I forgot, huh? You're probably like, Amy, get with the now. Do I, do I want that? Yeah, I think so. Ay, ay, ay. Tell how old I am. <laughs> Get with the nail. <laughs> Just aged myself right there. <laughs> Look, it's hanging on. Okay. You can go. Let's do this. I like it a lot. It's so colorful and fun. And it brings me joy. It makes me smile. Because they're so cute. The ones on the Alice in Wonderland movie by um, Tim Burton kind of were scary to me. Like, I mean, not like I'm not scared of them, but they were just kind of... I don't know, creepy looking. Hopefully it doesn't want to come out. Now, a lot of this is better to do, in my opinion, before you sew it in. Um, but sometimes near the end, you know, you're like, oh, I want a few more pockets or it needs something here or whatever. So you just do it, but they're easier to put, it's easier to glue them in when it's nice and flat, obviously. I mean, not it's not that either way is right or wrong, because it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's whatever you're comfortable doing. It's just sometimes a little easier if it's flat. And then I have these, which I'll probably still maybe stitch some fabric to, but for now we'll just plunk them in there because they're colorful and they'll look good. And I just these are the tags that come with the entirely bonkers kit, and I just backed them with tea dyed paper. The, the rabbit in there. Okay, and then another place I wanted to put something. Well, there's lots of places. <laughs> Still, this is it though. This. I want to put the dormouse on there. This little dormouse, she's cute. Just peeking, peeking as they do. She's gonna go steal a little bit of cake or something. Oh, I had one other, well, not one other, but another pocket I was going to do. Okay, I don't know 
where I'll put this one, but I'll figure that out in a minute. See, I'm glad I did the spine because look how fat that sucker is. Fat. <laughs> so, I have this old image from a, oh my gosh, I don't remember, 1920-something children's little folks magazine. And it was just on the cover, and that's all there was. There was no other Alice in Wonderland stuff in there. But I thought she would at least be cute. And then we're going to make kind of a torn corner pocket sort of dealy with this. So I guess we'll do the pocket first. That makes more sense. So I'm just going to glue this. I did, This is paper that I used mica powder on. It's a little bit icy looking, and I usually use it for um, winter. But I was like, I want, I need something behind this because this is just that uh, newsprint paper, and it's way too fragile to just try to make a pocket out of that. So... We're going to glue it to another piece of paper and do the old torn corner. Try to have a little bit of this peeking out in the spots. I think across the bottom I'm going to cut it normal. I didn't even check to see if this would fit on a page. It's looking a little wide now. Find out in just a minute. So funny how when you just are laying stuff out, you're like, oh yeah, that'll fit. <laughs> it's like, uh, I don't think it will. He's looking quite large. Just so here, for example. Yeah, just a little. It's not a ton large. Just a little large. So I think I'll um, just tear it. Tear a little bit. And at the other side, I like these. Carol, um, well, I mean, as far as I know, I saw Carol do it. But I don't know if somebody else did it first. I have no clue. At this point, if anybody has a novel idea, it's kind of shocking. <laughs> I think we've all... But every once in a while somebody comes up with something and I'm like, hmm, never would have thought of that. So, there you go. It does happen. Okay. Let's see if that fits before we decorate it. And then we're like, ah, it doesn't fit. I'm just getting the idea. Yeah, it will. So you don't see a ton of that blue paper, but it just wanted a little peek of the glitteriness of it. And it might be hard to see on the uh, video here. I hear quail outside. That's funny. I mean, we do we have them in our area. We just don't hear them a ton. Very distinct call. Don't want to get it too close to our face. Okay. That is enough. I can't go back to yesterday. I'm going to do this. I know it's purple, but oh, did I set the wrong side? No. Oh my goodness. There's always some parts that I miss. Okay, so I think what we're going to do, and I know that teapot's getting covered, but there's another teapot here. So we're going to put our little doily down. She'll go about there. And I want flowers here. I have another one of those. It's bigger pink. And 
And then I'll put this up here somehow. And that was the plan. I don't know if it's going to fit though. She might have to scoot over a bit more. I think I'll glue that first just so I can judge. Oh. <laughs> you guys know what I did already, huh? This needs to get glued down first. Of course, because it's like the most time consuming piece. Yes, I'm getting it all over me, but it's fine. It's just glue. Oh, and this is art glitter glue. Still getting that question. It's just in a different bottle. These bottles were gifted to me. Um, I believe she got them on Amazon. I keep tearing off paper towels because I don't know what I'm doing with them. I'm feeding them apparently. Fingers don't stick to it. Okay, I think that will work. Let's just use this. this way. My teapot's just going to be a little bit there, but that's okay. Instead of brown fingernails, I have purple fingernails. Okay. Can't go back to yesterday. Why? I was a different person then, right? I have that somewhere. I don't know what I did with it, but anyways, that was the plan. And I know most of this is going to get covered up. I just needed something as a background, and you can kind of see those uh, kind of blue lilacs back there. So that's why that's going there. Keep telling my husband if I could build a time machine, I'd go back to the 80s. Take take our kids and go back to the 80s. <laughs> Sorry, but it was way better then. <laughs> you may not agree with me, but that's where I'd be. I'll tell you. with something. I must have cut something entirely crooked. Shocker. Um, I got another piece that I am missing. But 
ran away. It ran away. This, this stuff. If I can find something to glue on, my glue paper is really gotten yuck. Really yuck. Needs to dry. Bags are the best thing I ever figured out. scrap that we made everybody said this one ended up being their favorite the one with the tea and all that that I didn't like at first but you're right once it was all done I liked it a lot it turned out cool that's why I say don't think oh I don't like that throw it away because you might be wrong once it's all done it changes oops I don't want that different person then Found it. Fingers are sticking to it. <laughs> oh my gosh. If you're hanging out with me today, crafting, I thank you. You guys are awesome. And welcome new subscribers and welcome back to my returning folks who always come visit me. You guys are the bomb. And thank you for comments and subscribing you can click the little bell if you want notifications of when my videos go up I need to do some shorts I think I'm gonna add a few of these just because they're cute I got lots of them so I might as well use them I can't decide which ink to use, I'm telling you. So some things have brown, some things have purple. <laughs> Different person then, that's for sure, right? on the back. I know that was the best part because it had all the dark coloring, but I like the torn edge. Bits of like pink on here, and I'm not sure why. Turn the top. Yeah, I think I cut this crooked. Go me. I think I'll really use that side just because I don't think it'll keep how far some dye I got on it. Probably in some crazy spraying <laughs> incident. character right oh there's another piece of sewing tissue and 
and this will get stitched around. Purple again. Oh, rounded corners? No, I don't think so. So this is a nice large journaling card. And it'll go in there. Oh wow, oh, 41 minutes. Oh boy. We'll put this down and then we'll be done for today. Time flies when you're having fun, right? I need to figure out me. I like them. I like those boys, they're cute. Um, I just don't know. I just don't know. Oh, I did this. Painting the roses red, and it's just, um, you know, one of those sayings that I put on a piece of um, collage master board, and then I just put the card so this card can't slip all the way out. And then I backed it with some tissue because I think you could write on that. But see, it'll just sit in there. And those cards are just for fun. Okay, so let's see. I think I need something. I'm not super good about doing, oh, I did this side, now I'm doing that side, that kind of thing. <laughs> I just kind of put them where I think I need something. I think that's a good spot. I know you could write on here, but. Oh my gosh, I hope if I could actually keep it on the paper, right? Is good. This is coming apart uh, because it's just a glue page, but it'll get stitched around anyway, so it's not a big deal, but it makes me laugh when they do that. Yes, it will get stitched. So that will go in there. I like it. I am loving this journal. I, I just, oh, it's so fun. Because with Alice in Wonderland, you can do just about anything, and it's like, fine. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it's just another, you know, process video. So, but I hope you are liking the way it's coming out and I hope you're making one. And if you are, I would love to see it. So hashtag entirely bonkers. Have a great rest of your day and we'll chat again soon. Love you guys. Bye.